Hello, and welcome to my first actual video of 2021, which I was hoping would be a lot better than 2020, but with everything going on in the US right now, and the fact that coronavirus isn't really getting any better, I think I may be sadly mistaken. Anyway, today we're looking at what happened to some salt crystals that I let grow, just sitting for over two months. So, this video was originally going to be just a pretty simple way on how to grow salt crystals, and it was filmed around early November, uh, about the 7th I believe, but I'm not totally sure. But one of them started growing kind of weirdly, so I thought I'd just leave it and see what happened. So anyway, as you can see, I start out by showing just some plain crystals of table salt, and showing that they're pretty small. And I wanted to make some bigger ones, or at least more of them spread out over a larger surface. So let's begin. So you can start by just heating up some water to around boiling. I used a stir or hot plate for this, but you really don't have to. Any source of heat should work fine. And next I add in some table salt. The amount is pretty arbitrary, you can just keep adding it in small amounts until when you stir it, it doesn't dissolve anymore. And you'll know it's dissolved when the solution turns transparent, so there won't be any salt just suspended in the liquid anymore. Also, you want to maintain the high temperature when you're doing this. For a while before it's dissolved, you can still see small salt crystals stuck onto the stir rod. So once I had it to a saturated solution, I decided to make three main kinds of salt crystals, and see how they'd work. The first one was really simple. It was just a little bit of cardboard that I had soaked in the solution and just let out to dry. The second one was just a small amount of that saturated salt solution in the bottom of a beaker, where I hoped for it to eventually evaporate and leave the salt crystals there behind. And for the third one, I was hoping to get some larger crystals. It was a larger amount of the solution in a beaker, with a single seed crystal, which was basically just a rock tied to a string, hanging in the middle of it without contacting any of the sides. However, I'm really not an expert when it comes to this, and you'll see what happens eventually. So, just over an hour later, I first looked at the small cardboard one. Most of the water appeared to have evaporated off, and some small crystals were beginning to be visible. Next up, I looked at the one which was just some of the solution in a beaker. Again, the volume was definitely lower, and some salt crystals were formed, but for the most part it looked unchanged. And for the last one, there were some small salt crystals appearing around the string and on the surface of the rock. But besides that, it was also pretty similar to how it originally had been. And none of this is really surprising, considering it's salt crystals, and most crystals in general don't really grow that fast. So, I set to waiting for each one to fully dry out. And I did set up a time lapse here, but it didn't really do much because, again, they're growing so slowly you can't really see it. So after about a day or so, the beaker with just the solution in it had fully evaporated and left a whole bunch of salt crystals formed all over it. And even some on the outside, which is a little bit odd, but I'm pretty sure that was just from a little bit of spilling when I originally made it. And I didn't show the little cardboard one because it basically didn't change at all, and it's just the same as you saw it before. So now we'll move on to the most likely reason why you clicked on this video in the first place. The third set of salt crystals, the one with this weird sort of seed crystal that I added in, didn't evaporate for a long time because of the much larger volume of water and because it wasn't really sitting in any sort of hot or dry area at all. And I just think it turned out pretty weird and I really didn't expect it. And now, drumroll for the big video. This monstrosity right here. So I let it sit and just dry out and dry out because the crystals just kept growing and I was curious to see when they'd stop. I did let it wait about a week or so after there was no water left, but by then it seemed to be fully completed. And as you can see, it spread way out from the original seed crystal and where the solution was. It's basically covered the entire outside and inside of the beaker, along with the pencil, the string, the seed crystal, everything basically except the bottom of it. And I'm really no expert again, so I'm not 100% sure. And feel free to correct me about this in the comments if you can, man. But I would guess that the solution got absorbed in the string and climbed up it, then leaving crystals as it evaporated. Then crystals kind of just grew out from those original ones, spreading out basically over the entire thing. And you can see on the inside, there are crystals on the seed crystal as well, but it's basically almost an even layering over the entire thing. And it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I think it's a good demonstration of how much salt you can actually dissolve in a certain amount of water, especially when it's heated up. It can be a surprisingly high amount. And this whole thing basically looks like it's covered in white fur. But one of my favorite bits was this. Yes, due to how stiff the salt crystals are, you can turn it fully upside down and shake it around, and the string and the rock will not move at all. They're basically just locked in place by the salt. I just thought it was pretty fun that it turned out that way. And yes, the pencil is also stuck to the beaker. 
Anyway, this was a pretty fun little project in my opinion, and it yielded more interesting results than I had originally thought it would. Sorry this video was uploaded a couple of days late. I basically was on vacation for a while and then forgot to record audio for it. I did enjoy making this video, and I really hope you enjoyed watching it, so hopefully see you next week. Bye.